Are you a social seller and you're not sure how to connect with people and ask them about your products or service? Are they open to taking a look? You don't wanna feel like a spammer when you do that. If that's you, keep on watching. Hey guys, Christina Torres, welcome to my channel where I'm hoping to empower online boss moms with the social media strategies I have here on this channel and also sharing the products that I love that help me boost my confidence. So thank you for being here. When you get value from this video, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video for you every week. Every other week is business tips here. So I got this um, question about how to be talking to people, asking people about your products or service for them to take a look. Um, they weren't sure, but you're not sure how to do that. Um, for one of the people from my group, The Biz Corner with Christina over on Facebook. So if you're not there, I'd love for you to join. I'll have the link in the description box for you. Um, this is a group I created a few years ago with I give a lot of free value through social media tips. So what I learned, I pay it forward and share it with you guys. Um, there are questions for you to answer to get into the group. So if you don't answer them, sorry, then you're not that serious to be there. So I hope you're serious to be there to answer those questions. So that's why I'm going over this video today because it was something that was asked by someone, a member there. So I figured other people might have the same um, concerns or questions. So when we're talking to people, when you're talking to people regarding your products or services, but you're like, I just don't know how to do that, or I'm tired of being a spammer, I'm a past spammer, let me know if that was you, or I would just write into people in the messenger and I would just say, here's a sale, flash sale, my monthly special, here's my link. I wouldn't even ask anyone, I just send it, and I used to think that's how I was working my business. So if you're guilty of that, put guilty in the description, um, the comments below. Um, we have to live and learn and just go forward and just get better at it, right? So don't feel bad because I'm sure all of us have done, been there, done that. So another way for you to do that, I have a few tips for you without getting that spammy effect or feeling. When you start doing this, I highly recommend for you to have the positivity, your positive energy, and your confidence when you're in Messenger. So one simple tip that I religiously do is have some personal development every morning, every day when you do that. And before you hit that messenger and go talk to people, do some kind of mindset so you're hired up and you're like with high energy to talk to people, okay? So that is my first tip for you to do that. And it's just a simple question. You just go into messenger and ask people, are you open to taking a look at? And whatever it is that you have, are you open to taking a look? See what they say. Some people will say, no, thank you. And just thank them. I appreciate you responding. But don't leave it there. Ask them. If you're not interested, do you know anyone who may be interested? And that is really it. But we're sometimes I think we get scared. But if we don't talk about what we do or how we help people, we're not, people are not going to know what we do. One way I also think about when we're asking that question, are you open to taking a look? How? And then on my example is I love my favorite liquid collagen. You guys know that from this channel. So I tell people, hey, are you open to taking a look what I do? I have a liquid collagen has really helped my skin. I'm 45 and I have glowing skin and less redness and it's really helped my puffy eyes. What skin concerns do you have that I can help you with? So when you're leading with the value and the benefits, how you can help someone, they may be more interested than just saying, hey, I have a cell right now, or I have a bundle, okay? So like, oh, well, um, Christina, I don't have puffy eyes or redness, but I really suffer from acne. Do you have something that can help me with that? So that's how that conversation starts, okay? So you just really wanna ask that question, are you open to however you wanna word it, your solution to the person's problem? So they think about knowing your avatar. If you don't know who your avatar is, I will put a video about that in the cards with a great activity for you to do. It's a PDF for you for free. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, I also just made a created a new PDF for you guys to have 30 days of content ideas. It's going to be in the description box for you guys as well. So I hope these simple tips help you. But um, one key point I want to look tell you guys is for you not to leave when someone says no. Make sure you ask for a referral. Oh, because the so truth is I recently did this. I was talking to someone. I knew her better than just some person on social. Like I know her in real life. Like, hey girl, I'm not sure if you're interested in what I do, but I have my um, favorite college and I love to share my stories. Are you interested in taking a look? And she responded and say, thank you for thinking of me, but I love what I'm using, but my sister might be interested. So she gave me her referral information without me even asking. So it just depends how close knit you are with people when you're asking them. Um, but that was great that she offered her sister to me, to be honest. But you really just want to be in your messenger and giving you value and asking that value, how you can help someone. So just please don't forget that part. Another thing that I also want to give a tip on is make sure you have a video of that signature product that you're highlighting. Or maybe you have one product, um, one video on the products in a simple little fast video. I would say no more than three minutes and throw in an opportunity in there if they want more 
more and then have another longer opportunity video because this is what you can do for automation. You don't want to be always in your messenger on your cell phone. So if you have videos and people say yes, you send them the video and make sure you tell them, all right, I'm going to follow it with you tomorrow after five. And then at tomorrow after five, make sure that you respond to them in messenger and go ask them and you're going to ask them, what questions do you have for me? Just don't say, did you watch the video? What do you think about the video? Say, what questions do you have for me? So you have a better conversation of them saying whatever questions they have. So I hope these simple tips help you get um, better through Messenger when you want to talk to people in the Messenger or the DMs over on Instagram. I'm a Facebook gal. And if you're not following me on Facebook, it's Christina Torres here and Instagram, Christina Lozano Torres. But I made this video because it was a question asked, so I know I wanted to pay this forward to everyone else. So um, if you got value from this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload it for you guys. Business videos are every other week. Take care and God bless. Peace.